So today's finally the day I get to put on or test fit my work wheels. But first is the unboxing. I am so excited I finally got these in. I got two 18s by 10s, negative seven. Those will be for the front. Oh, and this is my MR2. I go in the front and then in the rear, we got two 19 by 11 and a half, negative 36. Now this car came from stock. I actually looked it up last night. I thought they came from factory uh, with 16 inch diameter wheels. And here, some of them came in 14 inch and 15 inch. So we're adding so much more rim or wheel to the car. Right now there's 17s on there. I think they're 17 by sevens. So we got a little bit of room to play with here. And then I'm actually gonna put over fenders on to fit the wheels. Hopefully they look good. I'm hoping they do. I think they will. I'll probably get a lot of hate for it because I'm putting over fenders on a wide body. But it is what it is and I think it'll look great. All right, so now for the unboxing. Starting with the uh, 18 inch, 18 inch wheels first. I don't know if I mentioned, but these are work emotion CR2P wheels. I don't know what the CR means, but 2P is obviously for two piece, two piece wheels. Fell in love with these wheels, I don't know, like a year ago, year and a half ago. I don't know what that says, but look at that. God damn. Now on for the big boy. Negative 36. Oh my god. massive they're not gonna fit they're not gonna fit we're gonna make them fit though oh my goodness it's bigger than a car <laughs> oh man here also I got some boxes Stems. Oh, work center caps. See. Balance stems. Okay. My center caps. Go on the wheels. All right, so I'm just basically gonna, just gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna jack the car up, take the wheels off, and test fit. Always rem remember to make sure that your e brakes on and it's in gear. Excited to see uh, after I take the wheel off, just compare the wheel and tire to just the rim, the 19s. Um, it's just so aggressive and out of hand. It's gonna look. Gangster AF. So now I'm taking the lug nuts off, taking the wheels off, and then test fitting 
the wheels. Uh, it took me four months and like two weeks to get these wheels in. And it was kind of nerve wracking. It's a lot of money for these wheels. And to wait that long, a lot of people are hesitant on, you know, doing that. But, I have to say that they're better than I could have imagined. Work wheels is the way to go. All right, now there's a comparison right there. This is the width of my stock wheel. Almost eight inches. And then this one. Damn. Shall we take a look at that? Massive, massive. Just show you that one more time. It's 19 by 11 and a half, minus 36. Now, minus 36. If you don't know, that's the offset. And basically, center of the wheel, your offset is zero. Stock cars, usually they're plus 40 something. I don't know. Like you could tell, like this offset. Ugh. It's all the way to the face. Usually they're all the way to the face. You're given no lip, and it's, you know, the offset, the center of this part. Is that, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's usually dead, like right here. So it's plus whatever you have it. Now, I wanted to be aggressive and have that set in more. So it's negative 36. So, I mean, it'll, I think it'll balance itself out because this is, you got like, I guess, five or six inches inside the actual car and you'll have the same um, on this on this wheel even though the wheel is bigger because the offset is inside more I don't know I, I honestly I don't even know what I'm really talking about I'm just gonna shove it in there and see if it fits Wheels came with uh, center caps, valve stems, and lug nuts, I believe they're somewhere. I'm just gonna throw these ones on there that were on there previously. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's like gonna stick out like about two and a half inches. Okay. Now, like I said, I have over fenders. I'm going to see how it looks when I, I, I lower it. I'm going to put it down on like a piece of wood with a rag on it, I guess, and not mess up the rim, obviously, but it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy right now. I just can't help it. Look at, look, just look. <laughs> if I didn't already say, it's almost Christmas time. So I gave myself a little present. Boy, yes, I know. There's only three lug nuts in there. Yes, I know. It's sitting on wood. Yes, I know. It's poking out. But I got something in the trunk I'm gonna work with it oh there goes some ice let's see let's get one that goes on this side huh boom oh. yeah, I broke something what's new this will probably go right up there it's the first test fit of the test fits I don't think it's gonna fit are clinched over fenders so it'll give me another like it's like 2.75 which 
Oh, that doesn't look bad at all. So, that's the flare mocked up. And I guess pretty well on the fitment. It stuck out like crazy before. Now it's coming together a little bit. Now, I don't think I'm going to be painting these. I might just be leaving them the way they are. Maybe vinyl wrapping it. Um, with the crappy carbon fiber that I did on the spoiler. Um, eventually, I want to have it all molded in. But on the next video, I will be, uh, I guess, installing these. There's going to be a lot of cutting on the inside. I'm going to get rid of all this. And uh, yes, I'm going to be using rivets because that's how I feel like doing it. Cut that out. I'll probably see if I can slide this back so that way I can still rivet in here. And then cut that out. Um, and then I'll be cutting this out. And then... So, side note, check this out. Just happened to notice this. I knew that there was a lot of wear on this tire. And... But... Look at the slice and dry rot on the sidewall. It, that's insane. But I can still drive on it. These are actually in the rear, where the motor is. It's a lot of weight on it. I'm surprised it didn't blow out yet. Damn. I am an idiot. But I'm gonna put them in the front. It'll literally be the second to last time I'm driving with them on. Thank God I check that okay so do to test fit the front just test fitted the front clinch flares and it looks pretty decent pretty pretty decent do a little walk around of the mr2 real quick where this was molded in like the, the bumper is solid with the quarter panel Sh should be like a crease here and there's like a, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's like a cosmetic piece that runs along the door, I guess. But it's all molded into one. Like there's not just one side skirt. And then it's the same with the front also. A little bitty turbo down here. Uh, yeah. Everything done at a uh, Prime, I guess Prime Driven, or Prime MR2 in New Jersey. If you have an MR2 and you're having problems, take it there. They know what the fuck they're doing. Shit, I'm just fucking cursed. Oh, I just did it again. First video, I was gonna like not curse and... Anyways. Um, I guess that's it for now. If I miss stuff later, realize it. I don't, just comment below um, what you wanna see with the car. Um, like I said, Next video will be fitting the car a little bit better. This is a stance build. I don't know if you call it a build. It's more like a bolt on and see if it works. If it doesn't work, make it fit, shove it in there. Out of prime P. And uh, because daddy, stickers. It's my Instagram. And this is uh, means prosperous in Chinese lettering. Actually, I'm kidding. It means fuck boy. But anyways, peace out.